what was my train of thought? This is when the hangover is happening. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I still am not totally sure what really sparked the interest, but I've always had kind of a fascination with other people's hands. It's always just been an interesting shape to me, and I think that it works. It's like very versatile in the way that you can like use it to represent so many different concepts. Um, the shape in general just like is so pleasant to me to draw. I've been making art, like my whole family makes art. Like I, my family's full of painters and collage artists and sculptors. You had like full free reign to create in any way that you wanted, um, which was just like a very cool experience. Like my, we would literally be like, we want to paint a mirror on this wall. My dad'd be like, go for it. I usually start with colors. Um, not so much subject or hand imagery. Um, I get so excited by color and I think that's like honestly the reason I love to paint. I try to be intentional with like just spending time with myself and exploring what's happening in my brain, which like sounds really basic but I don't think people really give themselves a lot of room to do that. I try to give myself time in like the mornings to just go sit with like a journal and just kind of like write down like things I see that are interesting or like random thoughts that I have. And often it's just like a really weird list of things. But you know, it just gets like my brain moving a little bit. I think like every time I challenge myself and then like push through it and succeed, I like prove to myself that I can like do all of the things that I want to do. I really like um, just like people's response to paintings and like when they get really excited about the ones that I'm really excited about, like that feels like a success.